Hello you, it's great to have you here. Welcome to another tiny wee history lesson. And I can't be asked wasting any time at all, so let's get stuck right in. This is Azugwe, a name that might not immediately ring a bell. Ever heard of it? No, of course not, because history is a smorgasbord of random places nobody talks about. Except me, because that's what I do. Azugwe holds significant historical relevance in the annals of Mauritania's history. Nestled in the Adra region of northern Mauritania, Azugwe was once a bustling city that flourished during the medieval period. Azugwe's prominence began around the 11th century, when it became the capital of the Almoravid dynasty. The Almoravids were a Berber Muslim dynasty that emerged from the Sahara Desert and established a vast empire stretching from present-day Mauritania to Spain. The city of Azugwe served as their base of operations and a vital political and cultural centre. It was during this period that Azugwe witnessed a blossoming of Islamic culture and scholarship. The Almoravids, known for their rigorous adherence to Islamic principles, invited scholars and religious leaders to the city, making it a centre of learning and spirituality. They rolled out the red carpet for scholars, like, come on over Brainiacs, we're building an empire here. The strategic location of Azugwe along trade routes made it a hub for commerce. Caravans laden with goods from sub-Saharan Africa passed through the city, bringing with them wealth and exotic commodities. The bustling markets of Azugwe were a testament to its economic vitality. The decline of Azugwe began in the late 11th century, when the Almoravid dynasty started to crumble. Internal strife and external pressures took their toll, and the city gradually lost its political and economic significance. By the 13th century, Azugwe had faded into obscurity, overshadowed by other rising cities in the region. There was a time when Azugwe was the centre of the universe, or at least their universe. In 2003, UNESCO also gave it the nod, probably because they felt bad no one talks about it anymore. Despite its decline, Azugwe's historical legacy endures. The ruins of the ancient city, with their weathered stone structures, offer a glimpse into its glorious past. Today, Azugwe stands as a testament to the rich cultural and historical heritage of Mauritania. It serves as a reminder of the city's role in shaping the history of the region and the enduring influence of the Almoravid dynasty. So, there you have it. Azugwe from Desert Powerhouse to a cautionary tale in the sands of time. It just goes to show you, even in the middle of nowhere, history's always got a way of sneaking up on you. Speaking of sneaking up on people, my wife just snuck up on me and scared me so hard I followed through, so I'm going to have to finish soon and go clean my pants. And speaking of shitting myself, my wife promises to continue scaring the bejesus out of me unless you subscribe. I think she's serious, so please do that. Now, as usual, this map was made by me for the Game City's Skylines too, because I'm a little bit too obsessed with history, reimagining it and rebuilding. If you also need to find out what that's like, then you can get this free map from the Paradox Mods website. Just follow the link in the description below. Now, for that map information, do you want some? OK, we'll wait no longer. Buildable area, 81%. Outside connections, rail, air, power, sea, roads, Natural resources, wheat, 83 square kilometers, forest, 71.5 kilotons, or 145 kilotons, oil, 129 kilotons, terrain, some flat areas with many slopes and small hills. And there we go, ladies and gents. That was a map for a history lesson for Azugwe. And this was a video all about that map, which you've just watched and will now stop watching because it ends right here. Thanks for everything, and don't forget to come back for more soon. I'm off like a Molotov. Peace, love, and Mauritania.